Uh, the Arts Partnership is a 40-year-old organization. It was started in 1970 when Richard Nixon founded the National Endowment for the Arts. We're all doing art. It's trying to um, capture the mystery of human life and put it on a canvas. We really enjoy working with the Arts Partnership and they help us um, get the word out, like I said before, to the arts community. We're seeing changes that I think are of great benefit to anybody involved in, in arts of all media. It's just a great opportunity for artists to belong to one community. You know, I think one of the things that's most exciting about what the Arts Partnership is and represents and does is all of the different kinds of art that fall under our umbrella. The Arts Partnership, um, many we have similar connections just because I deal with the visual artists and a lot of similar media people. We kind of cross paths and network in that sense. Sure, we are linked with the Arts Partnership. The Arts and, and Public Gardens go hand in hand. We advertise in the Arts Pulse and so that's one of the ways that they benefit us is um, they help us get our, the word out about our exhibits and events through their publication. The state arts organizations invested in a piece called Culture Pulse. And so if you wanted to come to our specific site, it's fmarea.culturepulse.org. Um, and it's just the website for what's going on. My main involvement up to this point has been um, doing um, large-scale advertising through their um, publication. As far as the vision that I have moving forward, I just want to make sure that we are continuing to push the boundary of what art is. That it's not just the obvious dance, theater, music. That it's work that goes beyond traditional definitions. And if we can do that, then I think it opens doors for really exciting new collaborations between traditional artists and new artists or new mediums. I think it opens doors for interesting funding possibilities. I think there are lots of businesses who want to invest in art but don't quite know how to do it. I think the Arts Partnership is going to continue to broaden the awareness of what we do in the community so that people who have funding and who have the desire to see art happen know where to come to make sure that they can interact and connect with artists of all kinds. Concentrating more on the culture um, and development of culture and ideas um, and aesthetic appeal, more that direction than the commercial sense of the everyday media that we see, I guess. So it's really just a chance for artists to belong to a community where the word is getting out, where we're um, speaking on behalf of them in terms of service clubs, government, local organizations. It's just a great opportunity for artists to belong to one community. Sure, I've had the pleasure of meeting Dana on a couple of different occasions and I um, really admire her energy and um, can-do attitude. She's also been a great asset to us. Um, you know, many of us are just volunteers with these different organizations and Dana brings a level of expertise to writing, grant writing, um, promotional pieces, those kinds of things, and, and she has an open door policy so that we're all able to tap into her experiences and her knowledge, which we have found very beneficial, and we're just getting started. Yeah, Dana, I've known for several years. She's an enthusiastic person. I think that she'll have a lot of fresh ideas for the partnership. So we're seeing a lot of energy and leadership coming in the field of asking artists of all media and all types of collaborative media in the Red River Valley, what are you needing? and they're going out and resourcing that for us. So we're seeing changes that I think are of great benefit to anybody involved in, in arts of all media. So it's been around a long time. It has a really solid reputation in the community. It's an umbrella organization for uh, 60 plus artists, arts organizations, and businesses related to art to belong for re-granting purposes and also for um, advocacy work we produce a newspaper six times a year. We have an online website. We also partner um, with other partners of the Arts Partnership. We will be having um, music events, uh, symphony events, perhaps some plays. The Long Range Plan has a, has a place for those kinds of things. And we really enjoy working with the Arts Partnership and they help us um, get the word out, like I said before, to the arts community. What makes this group exciting is just the broad spectrum of who we cover. And I really, 
have had a lot of fun getting to know all of these various people who fall under what I get to do every day. It's a really remarkable experience.